looks like a caramel frappuccino. Exactly. That's what you're looking for. This is a little, little bit much, actually. Seen those guys that like make like a, a shape out of metal, and then they foam underneath it, and then they cut it with a blade, and it's like little seagulls, and they fly away. Nah. Cut to that flip. We'll, we'll find it in YouTube somewhere. And imagination. <laughs> Dude, that just reminded me of the Step Brothers scene when they built the bunk bed. Uh, yeah. So much space for activities. Damn, wide body. Is that lightweight? Lightweight, baby. Somebody said we gotta say lightweight in every video. That's true. That's actually it's in the Bible, I think. So today, what we're doing is we're going to uh, attach the flares to the front clip and then basically build out this section down here. We're gonna make this a lot wider, make this transition correctly, fill this, match it to the other side, and then we're gonna cut between these two sections and then probably foam the back to make a uh, plug for the mold. And then we'll start getting into the mold making uh, two flares, front lip, and the rear flares. And they're all gonna be separate. Yes, so it'll be four separate molds, but it'll make five parts technically. Okay. All right, well, let's get to it. I'm curious about how many rubber gloves you possibly went through. A lot. On a day-to-day -day basis, I probably go through. Four sets a day, fine. So I mounted both flares up, measured them, made sure that they're exactly even, um, uh, left and right, and the height wise and everything like that from the body lines. Um, and then mounted it up, marked where the outside edge of it would be, and then ground away, away some of like the primer and stuff like that that I had on here. So the epoxy has something to gra uh, grab to. Then I sanded the back of the flare too. So what we're gonna do right now is lay a big bead of epoxy here, bolt the flare on, and then what we're gonna try to do is uh, create a nice blended uh, tapered kind of like, it looked like seam sealer almost, little line in here. So that's got a good transition for making a mold, just to maybe wax it a little bit. And then um, once it's dry, we'll pull the bolts out so we can fill these holes and then we have like a flat part. Cause you wanna make sure that the, the part that you have, the plug you're making needs to be exactly what the part you're looking for. And I don't wanna have some big bolts here obviously. So you wanna make sure your molds are perfect. So after we're done that, we'll check everything, make sure it's all straight even left to right, stuff like that. But first step, get this epoxy on here. Then we have to build something out here. Um, body filler to this, make sure it's all smooth. Do the same thing to the other side. And once they're all good, what we'll do is we'll cut this, the seam here where the lip would attach to the, uh, we'll meet up with the flare. And then that will finish building this front lip off of the car. Uh, so we gotta get some epoxy going. I'm gonna use five minute today because so I got a little bit more working time. So the one guy that asked about the epoxy, here you go. Speed Yeah, this is grip. Norton Speed Grip. You can't they get actually, this done though. Huh? What, this is a Norton gun also. Oh, somebody oh, no, asked about not. it. It's not Norton. It's Greg not. was like, y'all get it from some local shop, so you really can't help you on that one. Yeah. <laughs> you can find them online though, for sure. This is a B26T200. <laughs> Whatever that means, who knows? <laughs> All I know is it squirts the stuff out this tip. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man, it's taking everything out of me right now. It's not to say it. <laughs> That's what she I'll said. <laughs> I couldn't resist.
Ooh, Tim's OCD. We're close. Oh, snap. We got the American Nakai Sun right now with his seam sealer. Okay, now I want to go inside and really lay it in here. And you're just doing this, I guess, what, to make sure nothing leaks through? Yeah, I wanted to make sure that the flare doesn't move at all. And we're just using this flare as a baseline. So when we add to it and change it, it will not be the exact same thing because I'm not for people copying other people's things. It's a lot of companies, that's all they really do. Me personally, I'd rather not. So the nice thing about this epoxy is, um, so you can see I've got a nice transition between the edge of the lip and the old like hood or whatever. But the, I don't want this extra that's passed actually on the flare. So it's still a little wet. You can use a little bit of like acetone on a rag and you can wipe a lot of it off of your, your part. And then this will keep it smooth too. That way my part will have no epoxy on the outside flange of it because that's what I want to keep the shape of, obviously. And this stuff's really annoying to the sand. <laughs> Buenos noches. <laughs> As he sits back and admires his work, he games plan for the next step. <laughs> um, so, so we got this nice tapered kind of like i guess edge where the old part and the the rest of this will basically be the flange meat um because with a little bit of wax on top of this it'll be perfect it's kind of annoying when you make a part and you have to add like the filleting wax to the edge and make sure because if any um, of the gel coat from the mold creeps around there it'll do like a mechanical lock and the mold won't want to come off the piece or it'll get like cracked and destroyed taking it off. So this will just make it easier to pop the mold off. But we're gonna let this side dry because it's five minute epoxy, which means you have like five minutes of working time, but probably more like 15, 20 minutes of drying. But we've already done this side over here, same deal. And so the next step is then gonna be changing the flare and this lip because we're not just making replicas of the exact same parts because like I said before, the way that this stuff kind of matches up, um, I don't like the way it looks. And basically what I'm gonna do is curve this in a little bit and then match this out with the width of this. So it'll still taper in a little bit, it's not gonna be completely straight, but this will then become wider, this curve will come out. I'm just gonna build a big chunk here and then we're gonna cut that line after we're done building this on both edges. And then after we're done cutting that to finish off the flares, we'll have to put a flat piece behind um, this section of where the hood is kind of missing or the fender side, um, just so there's a flange on the outside of this piece. And then we'll flip the hood, foam the inside of this because you need a flange on both ends. This will be our flange on the outside and your flange on the inside. And it can't angle in like this or the piece will get locked in, so it'll have to angle out so it'll be a flange that sits in here. But if none of that makes any sense at all, don't worry, we'll explain it better later. <laughs> if y'all don't know by now about this custom work, cardboard templates, if you can't afford carbon fiber, is your go-to. For a second I forgot that was carbon fiber, but it's Tim. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs>
or some other cool Honda. Hit him up on Instagram. <laughs> he also makes Ooh. sick coolant and a uh, oil catch. I should have brought the cardboard back to laugh at it. How funny that was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it worked out good. Yeah. Once again, cardboard is your best friend. Cad cardboard aided design. <laughs> Yeah, wait, it like dumps in right before. I've met him. He's living on our couch with the urine. And tell him to stop letting in strangers to listen to his new beats. It makes all their children happy. Honey, those aren't children. They're packets of cream cheese. Sometimes I can't separate between two. That's the most satisfying part is separating. <laughs> I can tell you look really excited. Oh, that's so great. So excited, can't even keep his hands steady. Uh. All right, so we just uh, did some stuff. That's a couple hours of just mud work. But. Yeah, it's cool. If y'all didn't tell, it's nighttime now. <laughs> <laughs> we started off this morning. It's been a long day. But uh, but we got a shitload done, so that's what's up. Yeah. Uh, but we're trying to foam this before we roll tonight. Um, I probably won't feel this piece because we're just going to focus on foaming the bottom half because I would have to tilt it up to fill that anyways. Um, so right now we just got to cut this seam, take the front lip off, and then flip the hood and start building a little barrier to foam. Killing the game. 2K19, take over. All 2K19, take over. Hashtag, we taking over 2K19. Hashtag, make 240Zs look good again. None of that Rocket Bunny shit. <laughs> I won't lie, I did not expect it to come out like this. But then again, you could never doubt Tim. Lily brought it to life from nothing. And now, I'm about to fill it up with that good old quality boom. Here. Crafting. Arts and crafts, bro. Making cardboard forts. Items needed. Lots of tape. Spare cardboard. And imagination. Don't forget to get yourself two big jugs and shake them up. <laughs> no pun intended. And part B. Make some fitty fitty. Glue. And then you get a little bit of this glue. Oh man, it's already growing. Looks like the coffee you made the other day. Are you saying I used too much cream? Nope. Looks 
Come here with non-coffee drinkers. <laughs> Little Starbucks. Yes, yeah, so I like a uh, caramel macchiato with extra almond milk. Yeah, man. Sure Can't drink that regular milk. So we'll wait, wait for it to start to foam up. Once it gets right to the top, we'll pour. And we're going. I just poured some out. <laughs> it's full again. Dude, remember the, the last time we had that incident where it just overgrew? She's grown like crazy. Dude. <laughs> Dude <that was> funny, <laughs> I should just hold my hand like this and freeze it. Does anybody want to buy a glove? Art glove? Glove art? Take a piece of the Datsun home with you. In the form of a rubber glove. It was like your Spider-Man. Ew. Well, you got webbed. The web comes out of him in between my fingers. No, nah, dude, you just got webbed by Spider-Man. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a villain. <laughs> no lie, guys, we could have made this out of like anything. We could have just like fiberglass, like a straight sheet in behind it, but any chance you can get to play with foam. <laughs> I do not Take disagree. It. It's fun. <laughs> Remember that one we mixed and it started like steaming and like. Yeah, I felt the heat like from just standing over top of it. Busted that open. Oh wow. Was that the plan? Yep. If you pull this stuff off while it's still kind of uh, growing and stuff like that, it doesn't hold as tight, which is actually what you would want. What do you mean? <clears throat> If you, let, if you let this sit for like 20 minutes, peeling this cardboard off is going to be impossible. But taking it off while it grows, if it expands, that will make it easier. Yeah. Asthma. Look like, what is asthma? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It just went, it was that shape and it just grew straight up. <laughs> that worked pretty much flawlessly, actually. A lot better than our first attempt. We just kept overgrowing. No. You, you yeah. had to cut. Yep. I mean, this honestly, I probably won't have to cut much. I might just sand a little bit with some 40, flatten this out. Because this is actually a really nice flange. So this is all flange material. I might just have to build this up a little bit, build something in here, and fill this corner. <laughs> 